Hello and welcome to Kaleidoscope, views of our All-America City. I'm Doug Hewitt, Assistant City Manager for the City of Fayetteville. Arnett Park is getting a makeover. Private covered picnic tables and paved trails are just some of the new changes we can expect to see. We met with Wayne Moser with the Fayetteville Cumberland Parks and Recreation to give us more information about the changes going on. We're at Arnett Park. Uh, it's a um, 100 acre park nestled between the Cape Fear River and uh, Old Wilmington Highway, uh, about two and a half miles outside the city limits of Fayetteville. We're, we're doing a little bit of uh, renovations uh, for Arnett Park. Uh, over the um, past few years, uh, we've um, been looking at the park and, and trying to transform it uh, into a little bit more of a passive area. Um, it's, it's been a sports complex for years and uh, we're in the process throughout a lot of the parks throughout the region doing just a little makeovers. Uh, well, right now we're um, renovating some of the picnic areas. Of course, you can see we've put some metal roofs on the shelters. We've added some concrete around the, uh, the footings of the, the shelters. We're, we're adding sidewalks. Uh, we're making everything ADA accessible. Uh, we've improved a little bit of fencing around the, the facility. We'll be doing some landscaping. Uh, we're working on some private picnic areas throughout the park where uh, families can come and, and picnic and eat lunch without having to make reservations. We've done improvement on soccer fields. Uh, we're working on a 2,400-foot uh, walking trail that will be a paved walking trail throughout the, the wooded area of the park. Uh, we're going to be building a 30 by 60 uh, shelter on the other side of the park. And in, in essence, what we're trying to do is develop a park within a park. Um, areas where people can go and um, if you have a large group in one area, you can still go to other areas of the park and um, not interfere with each other's activities. So um, I'm trying to make the park more user friendly. It's a 100 acre track and um, inside the perimeter road is about 35 acres and that's more of your, your urban type of uh, park activities. Uh, you have elements of playground units, uh, you have athletic ball fields, tennis courts, um, we have concession stand with restrooms. Uh, we do have a disc golf course that um, it goes within the, the, the inside of the perimeter road and then also works on the outside, which is more like a state park setting. It, it's more a natural type setting that uh, has your, your primitive type trails that go down to the river. So you really have the best of both worlds here at the park. Uh, if you're one that likes the, the athletic events or you like uh, to bring your kids out to, to use the, the, the playground equipment or if you're one that just likes nature to walk through the, the natural foliage and uh, experience the Cape Fear River and the trails, uh, you have both activities. We have our large picnic shelters in our athletic fields that can be uh, reserved for large events, uh, for picnics. Uh, we have a lot of groups from Fort Bragg that bring out uh, some of their companies and um, uh, utilize the park at different times. You can make reservations at our main office, which is at 121 Layman Street, um, and they, they can help you out with all the fee schedules based on the size of your party and the times that you're going to use the, uh, the facilities. We find a lot of folks that are just uh, coming out and utilizing our perimeter road is a nice place to walk. Uh, you, you have the covered foliage that makes it a, a very pleasant and you have the scenery along with the shade and, and uh, we, we don't have a lot of traffic out here. It's sort of like um, uh, one of Fayetteville Cumberland County's best kept secrets um, and we find a lot of people coming out at lunch just walking the area. Uh, one of the reasons why we want to build the, um, the walking trails on the other side of the park throughout the, uh, the wooded area that will be paved uh, be about a half a mile track and it will hopefully bring some of the people off the uh, vehicular part of the, uh, the park where um, they can walk and not have to worry about dodging traffic. But a uh, real nice place to come out and walk. A lot of people bring their kids out with the little bikes to ride around uh, because it's, it's, it's a safe environment. Um, of course, the play units, uh, we have volleyball courts, horseshoe pits, uh, the disc golf course, which is real popular. Um, we have the newly established soccer fields that people just come out and, and want to kick their soccer balls around or, or even uh, play softball if, if the fields aren't reserved. So quite a few amenities. We do have some folks that actually bring their, their mountain bikes out and ride the, uh, the, the, the primitive trails down around the river uh, and throughout the park. And then a lot of folks do bring their bikes out and, and ride the perimeter road. The park, um, of course, is, is well, I guess we're working on about 30 years. It was established in uh, 1976. Uh, it was uh, owned by the Port Authority, uh, being on the Cape Fear River. Uh, they, they acquired the land through the Port Authority. Originally, it was established as Cumberland County Park, and um, the, the first director for um, Cumberland County Parks and Recreation was Elmer Arnett. Elmer Arnett retired a few years back, and in honor of him, they named the park Arnett Park. So he, he really was the catalyst of getting this property and, and also uh, getting it established. It was, it was basically the flagship of uh, Cumberland County Parks and Recreation. 
when the park was first open, it's, it's not like a lot of parks where you have the, the ribbon cutting ceremony and it's, it's built brand new and here it is. It was been developed along the way. So we've made changes and uh, it's, it's been an ongoing type of process from the, from the beginning. So a real nice experience to come out and just see the changes. Uh, of course, um, uh, the real nice thing about this facility too is uh, with the change of seasons, uh, seeing the foliage change and everything makes it real appealing. Well, uh, the weather has uh, sort of slowed us up a little bit, but uh, we're hoping by um, the end of May, 1st of June, we should be finished with just about all of our, uh, our activities. Uh, of course, um, our picnic shelters, our sidewalks, are, uh, we're, we're under construction right now to finish that up, working on our, uh, our trail. Uh, once the asphalt plants open back up, uh, hopefully we'll be able to lay some blacktop down uh, within the next uh, month or so and uh, be real close to having most of these projects that we're working on now completed. We have a wonderful facility uh, th throughout uh, the, the county and city. Um, Fayetteville Cumberland Parks and Recreation Department is in a process of renovating quite a few of our established parks. We uh, have done, I think, a good job of trying to go out in different communities and developing new parks, but of course we see a need to, to upgrade our existing parks to meet the, the changing need uh, when we have um, the public that, um, um, that that their needs change throughout the years. You know, we see that we have to keep up with, with their changing needs too. So we've gone in and renovated a lot of our parks. This is one that uh, that's in that process. Uh, and we invite everybody to come out to uh, to enjoy all the amenities that we have.